Hi everyone, so welcome to Singham Tutorials, SP Gubi online classes for NCRT 10th standard and uh, CBSC 10th standard. So this is uh, session 21, so problems on uh, arithmetic progressions that is related to sum of the n terms of an AP, very important problems. We have uh, selected problems from all the previous 10 plus years papers. So in those papers we have selected the problems which were which have come on arithmetic progressions we have sorted out that we have pulled the problems so one by one one by one we are presenting uh, to you in a very systematic and scientific manner so here on the board today we have a very important four mark question which was given in 2017 final examinations for CBAC board so the problem goes it's very important listen carefully this type of problems may come in your uh, uh, examinations also in a different type or different manner so here you have to understand the concept and you have to go and understand the steps which are followed while solving these type of problems so it is for four marks okay so mth term of an AP is 1 by n so we have an uh, AP in that uh, there is a term called mth term mth term is some term where m stands for some natural number and nth term is 1 by m. So, nth term, some other term of the same AP where n is again a natural number. So, in that AP, <coughs> the terms are in the form of p by q. So, that is, they, are, they appear in the form of p by q, that is rational numbers. So, using these two terms, you have to find the sum of mn terms. mn terms. So, for example, if you have the third term as some 1 by 3, something like that. For example, I will show you a numerical one. Uh, for example, some uh, fifth, third term is 1 by 4, something. And uh, fifth term is uh, 1 by 7, something. Something, you do not know whatever it is. So, you have to find. This is, if you consider this as the nth term, and if you consider this as the nth term, you have to find the mnth term. So, that is 3 into 5. That becomes 15th term you have to find the value of that. So generally it is asked as if am is equal to 1 by n and nth term is 1 by m, you have to find the value of a mnth term that is sorry, sum up to 15 terms. So here sum up to mn terms. You have to find, find the sum of mn terms. So a3 is 1 by 4, a5 is 1 by 7 for example if I take you have to find uh, 3 plus 5 that is sum up to 8 terms that is uh, 3 3 into 5 3 into 5 that is sorry 15 sum up to 15 terms you have to find out so am is 1 by n and an is 1 by m so you have to find the sum up to mn terms so something like this so you have to find the uh, sum that is up to mn terms so it's a very important uh, problem okay let us go with this mth term of an AP is 1 by n. So let us take this statement. mth term of an AP is 1 by n. So am is equal to a plus m minus 1 into b which is equal to 1 by n. So mth term of an AP is 1 by n which is given here. So we will simplify that. Therefore a plus d into m is dm minus d into 1 is minus b is equal to 1 by n. Take it as equation. 1 and keep it. Take the next term. Nth term is 1 by m. Let us take that. So, nth term is 1 by m means an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d which is equal to 1 by m. So, therefore, this can be written as a plus n into d is dn minus d into minus 1 is minus d is equal to 1 by m. Take it as equation 2. So, now, <coughs> In order to find the sum of the mn terms of an AP, we need the value of uh, A and we need the value of D. So, which we are going to find out by solving these two equations. So, we will solve these two equations and find out the value of D. So, let us subtract subtract equation, equation 2 from equation 1. We will subtract this. So, we will write the equation 1 first a plus dm minus d is equal to 1 by m, 1 by n and uh, equation 2 is a plus dn minus d is equal to 1 by m. 
So as the equation is getting subtracted from this equation, the equation which is below, that is the first equation, the terms are going to get changed, that is the signs are going to get changed. So it becomes minus d, this is minus dn, this is plus d, and this is minus 1 by m. So plus a minus a gets cancelled, minus d plus d gets cancelled, so remaining is dm minus, you have to take the sign, dm minus dn is equal to 1 by n minus 1 by m. 1 by n minus 1 by m. So this is the result. So we will carry the result for that. So let us take a d as common here because dm minus dn both has, both the terms has d here. Let us take d as common. So that becomes m minus n is equal to 1 by n minus 1 by m. 1 by n minus 1 by m. So d into m minus n is equal to, let us take the LCM for n and m. So it is mn is the LCM. 1 by n into mn is n and n cancels. m into 1 is m minus 1 by m into mn. m and m cancels. m into 1 is n. So d is equal to m minus n by mn by, we will put this m minus n. So below this we have 1, it is understood. So therefore, d is equal to m minus n by mn into, let us take the reciprocal of this, m minus n by 1 reciprocal, that becomes 1 by m minus n, m minus n, m minus gets cancelled. So therefore, d is equal to 1 by mn. So this is the value of d we have got. So using this d value, we will substitute this d value in equation 1 or uh, equation 2. Hence, we will find out the value of a. We will uh, uh, take equation 1. So, to find a. Okay. So, we will take equation 1 here. So, a plus, uh, we will take this one. a plus m minus 1 into d is equal to 1 by n. m minus 1 into d, d stands for 1 by mn, so 1 by mn is equal to, the uh, thing is 1 by n, so we will continue this, so a plus, a plus, uh, m minus 1 uh, into 1 is, how we will do this, 1 by mn into m, that becomes m by mn, 1 by mn into minus 1, so that becomes minus 1 by mn is equal to, thing is 1 by n, 1 by n, okay, m and m cancels, so a plus 1 by n minus 1 by mn is equal to 1 by n, so plus 1 by n plus 1, that is 1 plus 1 by n which is equal on both the sides gets cancelled, so a, a minus this one, 1 by mn is equal to 0, nothing remains, so a is equal to minus 1 by n gets transposed to the RHS, so it becomes 1 by mn. So a is equal to 1 by mn. So we have two values here, one is a and that is uh, d. So we have got it successfully. So we will go with the next is that is sum of sum of mn terms. So sum of the mn terms, we will find out sum of the mn terms is equal to mn by 2 into 2a plus mn minus 1 into d. So, this is the required formula for that. So, Sn. So, it represents Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, instead of n we have mn. That's all. So, sum of the mn terms is equal to mn by 2 into 2 into a. That is 2 into a stands for 1 by mn. We will substitute that. 1 by mn plus mn minus 1 into d value is again 1 by m. So sum of the mn terms is equal to mn by 2 into 2 into 1 by mn is 2 by mn plus uh, 1 by mn into mn is mn by mn minus 1 by mn into minus 1 is minus 1 by mn. So this is the thing. So we can take uh, LCM here inside the brackets mn, 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 LCM is Again, mn, so sum up to mn terms is equal to mn by 2 into mn, 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 LCM is again mn it is, so 2 by mn into mn is 2 plus 
M1 and Mn gets cancelled, it is uh, well, let us go with this. Better is we have taken LCM 2 by Mn, Mn by Mn into Mn is Mn, Mn gets cancelled. Again, we have Mn here minus 1 by Mn into Mn is minus 1. Okay. So, sum of the Mn terms is equal to Mn by 2 into Mn is the LCM, let it be 2 minus 1, that is uh, 1 plus Mn. So, this becomes, so sum of the Mn terms is equal to uh, Mn and Mn gets cancelled. So, we are left with 1 by 2 into 1 plus Mn. So, this is the sum of first mn terms of an ap whose nth term of an ap is 1 by n and nth term of the ap is 1 by m so you have to practice this it requires a lot of practice so concentrate on each and every step be very vigilant so check out every step and uh, do it so it requires a little bit of practice right it is for four marks so we go with the next problem on uh, uh, mathematic progressions, very important, 2070 final exam, CBSC scheme. Find the sum of, sum of 14 terms of an AP is 1050. Some AP is there, its first 14 terms have been added, so its sum is 1050. And the first term is 10. In the same AP, the first term is 10. So if this is the thing, find its 20th term. So to find out this 20th term, we need two things. One is the first term of the AP and another is the common difference of the AP. So using the given data you have to find out the first term and common difference and then you have to find out the 20th term. So let us go with this. Sum of first 14 terms of the AP is 1050. So this can be written as S14 is equal to 1050. So sum of the 14 terms can be written as 14 by 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 1050. Let us substitute the values. So 14 by 2 into 2 into a. First term is 10, it is given. So a is equal to 10. So 2 into 10 plus uh, find it's okay. Sum of first 14 terms of the AP is 1050. Therefore n is equal to 14. So 14 minus 1 into d, we do not know the value is equal to 1050. So 1s are to 7 times. So 7 into 2 tens is 20 plus 13. 14 minus 1 is 13. 13 into D is 13 D is equal to 1050. So 20 plus 13 D is equal to 1050 divided by 7 comes to the denominator. You have divide 1050 by 7. So it comes to 20 plus 13 D is equal to 7 1 times 7 150 times that is equal to 150. So 13 D remains here, 20 will be transposed to the RHS. So 13 D is equal to 1050 minus sorry 150. 150 minus 20 gets transposed, it is minus 20. So 13 D is equal to 130. So, D is equal to 130 by 30. So, it is 10 times. So, D is equal to 10. So, we have uh, the first term that is A and we have the common difference that is uh, D. So, you have to find the 20th term. So, A20 can be defined as A plus 19D. So, A20 is equal to A plus that is A stands for uh, 10, 10 plus 19 into D is again 10. So A20 is equal to 10 plus 19 into 10 is 190, 190 plus 10 is A20 is equal to 200. So the 20th term is 200. So it is for 2 marks. Okay, we will go with the next uh, 3 marks question. So it is one of the problems which has occurred in the uh, final exams of CBSE. 16th term of an AP is 5 times its third term. So, this is the condition it is given. 16th term of an AP. 
So we will write uh, 16th term A16 is 5 times its third term. So 5 times is multiplication, its third term that is A3. So 16th term is 5 times its third term. This is the condition. So we go with this. A16 can be defined as A plus 15D is equal to 5 into A3 can be defined as A plus 2D. So A plus 15D is equal to 5 into A is 5A plus 5 into 2D is 10D. So we will uh, transpose both of these terms to the RHS. So 5A is here plus A gets transposed to that side it is minus A plus 10D is here. So plus 15D gets getting transposed is minus 15D. So nothing remains here which is equal to 0. So 5A minus A is uh, 4A plus 10D minus 15D is minus 5D is equal to 0. So there are uh, two terms having uh, both the variables. So it cannot be simplified, taking common, nothing can be done. So therefore at this moment, when you come across this type of situations, make any one term as a subject. So 4A is equal to minus 4D, 5D goes to the RHS, it is 5D. So A is equal to 5D by 4. So this is the value of A. So keep it as, make it as a subject. So okay, next, if 10th term is 41, next condition is given. 10th term is 41, so A10 is equal to 41, so A10 can be defined as A plus 9D is equal to 41, so A plus 9 into D value, sorry, A value is ready, that is 5D by 4, so 5D by 4 plus 9D by 1 is equal to 41, this can be written like this, 4 and 1 LCM is 4, 5D by 4 into 4 is 5D, plus 90 by 1 into 4 is 36D is equal to 41 by 1. So 5D plus 36D is uh, 41D by 4 is equal to 41 by 4. So uh, go with cross multiplication 41D into 1 is uh, 41D. Either you can cancel 41, 41 here. Okay, let it be 4 into 41. 41D into 1 is 41D. 4, 41 into 4 or 4 into 41. So 41 D is equal to 4 into 41 is 4 16. So D is equal to 400 and sorry 164 by 41. So 41 one side is 4 times. So D is equal to 4. So we have got the value of D. So we can easily find out the value of A now. So A is if A is 5D by 4. So therefore A is equal to 5D by 4. So A is equal to 5 into D is 4 by 4. 4 and 4 cancels. So A is equal to 5. The first the common difference is 4 and the first term is 5. So if this is the thing, find the sum of first 10 terms. It's an easy one. Let us write the read data. Let us write everything once again. So A is equal to 5. D is equal to 4. As we have to find the sum of first 10 terms, so n is equal to 10 and then uh, sum of to 10 terms that is S10 is equal to how much? So Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d is the formula. Sum of to 10 terms is 10 by 2 into 2 into a. a is a 5 plus n minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 into d is 4. So S10 is equal to 2 ones are to 5 times. So 5 into 2 5 za is 10 plus 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 4 za is 36. So S10 is equal to 5 into 10 plus 36 is 46. So S10 is equal to uh, 30, 23. So it is 230. So S10 is 230. So it is a 3 mark question. Very important. So this is again a 3 marks very important problem on arithmetic progressions. So here, if Sn denotes the sum of first n terms of an AP. So that is the generalized form of Sn. So, so S indicates sum and N indicates the number of terms. 
So SN together indicates the sum of first n terms of NAP. So if that is a thing, prove that sum of to 12 terms is thrice the difference between the sum of to 8 terms and sum of to 4 terms. That is S12 is equal to 3 into S8 minus S4. So when you do S8 minus S4 and multiply that by 3, that will be equal to sum of first 12 terms of the AP. So you have to prove this. So let us uh, first uh, do that is define S12, then define S8, then define uh, S4, then we will uh, prove that LHS is equal to RHS. That's the best way. So S12 can be defined as 12 by 2 into 2A plus 12 minus 1 into D. So this is how we can define S12. We will simplify that. So S12 is equal to 2 ones are to 6 are 6 into 2A plus 12 minus 1 is 11. 11 into D is 11D. So so S12 can be written as 2A plus 6 into 2A is 12A plus 6 into 11D is 66D. So take it as equation 1. And let it be at the stand. So we will go with S8 and S4. So let us find out S8, then find out S4, then we will subtract S8 and S4 and multiply that by 3 and take it as equation 2 and let us see if that equation is equal to this equation. So that's the general checking. So then we will go with S8. S8 can be written as uh, 8 by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into that is 8 minus 1 into d. So S8 is equal to 2 1s are to 4 za. So 4 into 2a plus 8 minus 1 is 7. 7 into d is 7d. So S8 is equal to 4 into 2a is 8a. 4 into 7d is uh, 28d. So let uh, S8 be ready here, we will keep it inside a box, S8 is ready, so we will uh, get ready with S4, so S4 can be written as 4 by 2 into 2A plus 4 minus 1 into D, so S4 is equal to 2 1s are to 2 z, 2 into 2A plus 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 into D is 3D, so S4 is equal to 2 into 2A is uh, 4A plus 2 into 3D is 6D. So now let us, S8 is ready, S4 is ready, let us subtract S8 from, uh, that is S4 from S8. So therefore 3 into S8 minus S4 can be written as 3 into S8 is, here it is, 8A plus 28D, 8A plus 28D uh, minus because if we have minus here, then S4, S4 is this. So please open brackets, 4A plus 6D. So it is uh, 3 into 8A plus 28D minus into plus 4A is minus 4A, minus into plus 6D is minus 6D. So it is equal to 3 into 8A minus 4A is uh, 4A plus uh, 28D minus 6D is 22D. So it is uh, 3 into 4a plus 22d, let us multiply this. So 3 into 4a is again 12a plus 3 into 22d is 66d, take it as equation 2. So now compare equation 1 and equation 2. So here it is very clear that S12 is equal to 12a plus 66d and here 3 into S8 minus S4 is equal to uh, that is 66d. So S8 minus S4 is equal to this. So from equations 1 and 2, if the both the RHS are equal in the sense S12 is equal to 12A plus 66D, 3 into S8 minus S4 is also equal to this. So if two things are equal to the same thing, same thing, then they must be equal to each other. It's an axiom which is used in geometry, which is applicable to all branches of mathematics. So therefore, from equations from equations 1 and 2, S12 uh, is equal to 3 into S8 minus S4, hence it is 2. So it is for 3 marks. Okay, so it's again a very important problem on automatic progressions for uh, 3 marks. So it's a uh, little bit 
entirely a different one. So if 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus dot 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 plus x is 287 in an AP, find the value of x. So it is an arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is given. First we can see the starting four terms and this is the last term that is the nth term of the AP. So when you add all the terms starting from 1 to x, you get the sum as uh, 287 in that arithmetic series. So find the value of x. In the sense you have to find the value of the nth term, that is the last term. So let us write the arithmetic series 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus dot 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 plus x is equal to 287. So let us write the data a is equal to 1, d is equal to a2 minus uh, a1. So d is equal to 4 minus 1, d is equal to 3. So here uh, nth term is uh, x, you have to find the nth term and sum of two n terms is 287. So that is, this is the nth term, x is the nth term. So sum of the n terms is 287. So let us write the sum, Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus uh, n minus 1 into d. So sum of the n terms is uh, 287 is equal to n by 2. We do not know how many terms are there and x is which term, we do not know that. So n by 2 into 2a. 2 into 1 plus uh, n minus 1 into d is uh, 3. Okay. So 287 is equal to n by 2 into 2 into 1 is uh, 2 plus 3 into n is 3n. 3, 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. So 287 is equal to n by n by 2 into 2 minus 3 is uh, 3n minus 1. So let us multiply this. Then we consider below 3n minus 1, we have 1 numerator into numerator, denominator into denominator. So 287 is equal to n into 3n minus 1, that becomes 3n minus 1 like this, by 2 into 1 is uh, 2, and here by 287 we have 1 as the denominator. Let us go for cross multiplication. n into 3n minus 1 into 1 is n into 3n minus 1 is equal to 287 into 2. So n into 3n is 3n square, we have to multiply with the uh, sign, we have, to, we have to be careful. n into 3n is 3n square, n into minus 1 is minus n is equal to 287 into 2. Multiplication goes with uh, 574, you transpose 574 to LHS, 3n square minus n minus 574 is equal to 0. So you cannot take any common here. So 3n square minus n minus 574 is there. You have to multiply these extremes. 3n square minus 574. You have to multiply the extremes there. 3n square into minus 574. You have to multiply that. So it comes to minus 1722n square. So I have to split this into two numbers such that Sum of those two numbers you should get minus 1n and the product you should get minus 1722 n square. So you can go with the trial and error method. So 1722 you can write down, just you can go with the, taking the factors. So 2 8s are 16, 2 6 are 12, 2 1s are 2, okay. Again we are ahead up here. Uh, 3 we can try, 3 2s are 6. 3, 5s are 15, no, it's not possible. Then go with uh, 11, I hope. 7, I can try. 7, 1s are 7. 7, 2s are 14. 2 is left out. 7, 3s uh, are 21. 7 uh, 4 za is uh, 28 and 7 uh, 1 za is 7. So 41 1 za. So here 2 3 za 6, 6 7 za 42. 42 and 41. So difference is there. 42 n, 41 n. So we have to give minus 42 n as negative sign and this as positive because we have to get minus 1 n there. So this is the trial and error method. So, instead of minus uh, 1n, I am going to write uh, 3n square 
minus 42 n plus 41 n minus 574 is equal to 0. So, if this is the thing you have to write in the exam, the working column. So, you can take uh, 3 n as common, so it becomes 3 n minus uh, 14, 14 plus uh, you can take 41 as common, so n minus 14 is equal to 0. So, 3 n into n is 3 n square, 3 n into minus 14 is 42 n plus 41 into n is plus 41 n plus into minus is minus 41 into 14 is 574. So, n minus 14 out of these two terms you can take n minus 14 as common and the remaining thing is 3 n plus 41 is equal to 0. So, this into this is equal to 0 means either this is equal to 0 or this binomial is equal to 0. So, equate both the binomials to 0. So, n minus 14 is equal to 0 or 3n plus 41 is equal to 0. So, n is equal to 14. So, this is one of the value of n or n is equal to 3n is equal to minus 41. n is equal to minus 41 by 3. So, this is not possible because n we know that n is always a natural number. So, therefore, n is equal to 14. So, therefore, there are 14 terms in AP. Yeah, there are 14 terms in AP, so therefore x is the 14th term. So as we have got n is equal to 14, x is the last term, so therefore x is the 14th term. Therefore x is a 14 of AP. So now we have to find out the value of x. So a 14 is equal to a plus 13d. So a 14 is nothing but x is equal to a value is uh, with us that is 1 plus 13 into d value is with us that is uh, 3. So x is equal to 1 plus 13, 3 is it is 39. So x is equal to 39 plus 1 is 40. So the value of x is 40. So this is a very important problem. You have to be very careful at these two points. So until now in this uh, session we have come across five very important problems which are taken from the previous year's exams of NCRT and uh, uh, CBSE. I hope you enjoyed all these uh, problems. All the problems are important. Practice well and uh, the homework what I am sending you through the WhatsApp, uh, you are doing it. It is an excellent uh, performance. Please be updated. Write down the notes. These chapters will not be done when the real classrooms in the in the real classrooms which are going to open after the lockdown lockdown so please uh, be updated with your classwork if any have the, any doubts out there please send me through the whatsapp or comment in the section box mm -hmm. so subscribe the channel stay home stay safe and keep learning thank you all